What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today's video, we're going to Tulsa Raceway Park again and we're gonna race to Type R. So we're just gonna do quarter mile racing, um, drag racing, nothing super crazy. Tulsa is not known for its uh, track prep, so the track is not gonna be super sticky or anything like that. I'm not looking for like a super fast time. Obviously it's a stock B16B in a hatchback, so it shouldn't realistically do anything faster than like a 14.5, but we'll see. I would be super ecstatic just to even get into the 14s. I'm expecting like a 15.5, maybe a low 16. Um, we're on street tires. Tulsa Raceway Park kind of sucks as far as the track prep goes, like I just mentioned. And honestly, the Type R is only at about 80%. Um, it still needs a few minor adjustments. I'm sure there's some sensors that could be replaced. Uh, it has a few small little hiccups, VTEC engages here and there because uh, the signal sent to the distributor is somewhat off. So there's a few little things that do need to be addressed with the car that need to be fixed, but I think we can get it on the track and make some good passes the way it sits. So that's going to be our goal for today. I'm going to get going on getting the oil changed. Um, once you get the oil changed, we'll kind of go over the rest of the car. I did go ahead and buy a little air filter set up. I got myself a little uh, reservoir for my old oil so that way I'm not stepping on it and, or stepping in it and spilling it everywhere because, you know, I'm really good for that. But that's the plan for today. We're going to Tulsa Raceway Park. Joe is going to be bringing his Integra. He is shooting for somewhere uh, around like a, a low 12 to mid 11. I know his car has a 10 in it, but he needs to get a suspension dialed in and working properly before that car is really going to leave right and make it down the track. So that's what we've got going on for today. I'm super excited. I hope you guys are excited. Let's get into it. <laughs> Don't mind my pants. But update on the Integra's exhaust. Everything is here. Mugen Twin Loop is here. We got all of our V-bands from Vibrant Performance. Got our resonator, our cutout. This piece right here I'm kind of bummed about because I don't honestly think it's going to fit. We've got our Vibrant 3-inch to oval transition. And as you can see, it's a lot bigger. So I don't know if that's going to work or not. So we actually might not do the full... Um, extension piece going out the side skirt on the integra we might just go ahead and uh put the exhaust on and just kind of do a little dump out of the cutout until i can get the proper 60 degree or 45 degree oval bend that i'm needing to uh complete it but not a super big deal as long as we can drive that car we'll be happy <clears throat> um. Okay, here we are. So I went to O'Reilly's really quick, grabbed a couple of clamps and a filter. So, got a three inch filter. We got a coupler for the intake manifold to the actual intake pipe. And then we also grabbed couple of clamps for the rest of our little air box setup so essentially what I grabbed was a clamp for here a clamp for there and a clamp for there well I lied to you I got a clamp for here and a clamp for either this spot or this spot I don't know which spot we're gonna use but and then I got a clamp up for the top and if we don't like the way the air filter box fits um i just grabbed a filter so i could throw a filter on the end so that's what we're gonna do for the intake stuff all right got the car up on jack stands let's get all this bad oil out Let's see. 
Going on that black oil. All right. Well, it doesn't look super horrible, but it's not great either. Yeah, she needed an oil change, that's for sure. <laughs> but like I mentioned just a couple minutes ago, we are going with some Valvoline. Nothing too crazy. We aren't going to be pushing the car super hard just yet, so I'm not going to do VR1 just yet. But once we do start doing track days and stuff like that, we will switch over to VR1. But I'm stoked. Let's get this oil changed. So when I actually bought this car, this car came with a bunch of uh, weird stuff just kind of sitting in it. One of those things that were just sitting in it were these OEM Honda air filter, oil filters, sorry. But I noticed on them that it's got a bunch of Japanese writing and stuff. So I'm hoping these fit. I don't know if they are the actual correct ones or not. Um, if they don't fit, I know that this micro guard will fit. So. We're gonna try the OEM Honda one first. If it doesn't work, then we'll go with the micro guard. But here we go. All right. All right, car's full of oil, nice and topped off. New filter is in, she's good to go. I'm gonna go ahead and put just a little more fluid in the transmission. Um, felt just a little bit of a hesitation when it was going in one of the gears when I drove it to the parts store just uh, 20 minutes ago or so. So I think what I'm gonna do is just throw a little extra gear oil in the trans just to make sure that we've got plenty so uh, I do know that we had a small leak and I haven't properly filled the trans I know you're supposed to just you know uh, pull off the fill plug on the bottom fill it up until it starts seeping out but I have not done that I kind of just added a quart it felt really good so I left it but I'm gonna go ahead and add another half a quart or so just to make sure that we have enough in there. And if it still feels weird after that, then I'm just gonna take it to Humble and have it properly drained, uh, flushed and filled with some good OEM Honda Trans Fluid. So that's where we're at right now. I just took that intake tube off. We're going to get the speed sensor pulled out. We'll get some gear oil in there and then we'll start assembling our new little air filter setup that I bought. So let's get to it.
free poured that like a boss and I only missed a little bit of it actually, which is kind of cool because that trans opening or the hole for that speed sensor is pretty far down there. But I'm still gonna get this rag down in here, wipe off the surface of everything and make sure that we aren't gonna be leaking fluids onto the track because that is the last thing we want is to ruin the day for everybody else because we forgot to properly prep the car for the track. Are you not going to work? I am. Oh. Okay, I'll... I don't know, you might be back by the time I'm done. Okay. But... It, okay, I'll let you know. I'll, I'm going to Jaime and James's first, so we'll probably meet there. Yeah, I'll just text you and we'll see where we're both at. Okay. All right, my DIY little Spectre air intake is done. All right, guys, so this is currently where we're at. We got our air filter installed. We added fluid to the transmission. We did a complete oil change on the car, and we added this little coolant reservoir overflow down here. So 
I want to say the last thing that we're going to need to do before getting this car ready to go down the track is going to be a battery tie down. And if I'm not mistaken, got most of the parts for one right here. Yep. Boom. So we're going to go ahead and get this battery tied down really quick once it is secure. We will be good to go. Um, we'll kind of drive the car around the block really quick just to make sure everything feels good. And then I'm gonna pull Alyssa's Integra in. She has an exhaust leak at her mid pipe. So I'm gonna go ahead, bolt everything back up together so it sounds better and she will be able to drive her car to the track. She wants to bring her car to the track, but she doesn't want it to sound like shit. I understand completely. So we're gonna get it all fixed up for it. So let's get this battery tied down and we'll get Alyssa's exhaust fixed. We will grab that tin that just fell, but I'm not gonna try and fish it out because these little posts are a pain in the butt to get in, right? There we go. battery is tied down all right so i've got everything buttoned up i just let the car turn over for about 10 to 15 seconds to build up some oil pressure again plug the distributor back in i think everything is good to go so we're going to fire the car up and see how she sounds make sure she's in neutral she fired right up sounds real good battery is now tied down we now have an air filter on the car more fluid in the trans fresh oil change so i think we're about ready to uh go rip around the block real quick pull some of this junk out the car I want to put a zip tie around that uh, that coolant reservoir because I just have a feeling it's going to fall as soon as we start making some rips.
All right, we got our overflow secured. Everything else is nice and secured. Now we are really ready to go take this thing for a little test drive. So get this oil out of the way so it doesn't bite us in the ass when we pull Alyssa's car back in. Let's go, see, let's go see how she feels. She sounds really good. Another thing that I want to do is get a camera, like, I don't know, a mount or something set up for you guys. Because I'm tired of doing this ghetto uh, little seat position that I've been doing because I mean I know you guys can't see everything very well it's a weird angle I don't know we'll figure it out doing that so I'm gonna put you guys right here in between my lap guys so I made my third pass that one wasn't perfect but I do feel like it was the best out of all three I got off the line decently um, I still need to get some more rpm off the line I need to leave with more rpm so I can get a little more wheel speed so I don't jump and I actually get you know a little bit of uh, spin or I spin a little but all in all it was a good night I ran a 15.3 that was my best pass which isn't horrible our goal was a 14.9 so we're four tenths off and if I get a good leave, uh, a good reaction time, and a good launch, I think we're going to do it. So I'm going to leave it off there for this video. Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. Please like and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.
So I just made my second pass. I did not bog off the line. Thankfully this time we ran a 15.5 at 91 miles an hour. Um, I had a horrible reaction time off the light. So this time I'm going to focus on getting a better reaction time leaving off the line and I'm gonna see if I can't get it uh, into the 14. So my goal for this next pass is a 14.90. I'm excited, let's get it. What's going on guys? So I really didn't film much of an outro for the video, so I figured I'd film a quick little one right now. Um, I'm super happy with the way that the Type R performed. I know 15.3 doesn't seem very impressive at all, but honestly, it's a full interior 2000 Civic hatchback. <clears throat> and on top of that, yes, it is a Type R with a V16B, but it's got, you know, AC, power steering, it's a Type R-X, so it's got ABS, it's the heaviest of the Type Rs. I really wasn't expecting anything faster than a 14.5, and looking at my reaction time and my 60 foot, car 100% has a 14.5 with a better driver in it. I was having some issues that night, it's been a long time since I've been on the drag strip, and it's been an even longer time since I've driven a right-hand drive car on the drag strip, so, I think if we take the car back, I do believe I can get it in the 14s, but I'm not focused on making that car super fast in the quarter mile. It's a circuit car. Um, on the other hand though, this one should be pretty quick in the quarter. I'm guessing it'll do like a mid 13. And then once we'd really dial it in and everything, I think we can get it into the uh, 12s. Um, maybe we might have to do some bolt-ons, some suspension changes and stuff before any of that happens, but it's a really light car and it's got a K24 in it. So we'll see what we can do. Um, I'm going to get this car ready to take the track next weekend and the next video will basically be uh, focused on that. So I really do appreciate you guys for watching. The few who do watch, please like and subscribe, tell your homies about me and uh, I'll see you in the next one.